the catch here, so design the Capcom Convict bring you guys and gals a new gameplay. And yes, finally, we are here. If you don't know what it is already, we are playing Battlefield 5. We've got Battlefield 5. Hooray! So we can actually play and continue on in our grind of all things Battlefield. Now, I've had this over the weekend, so I've actually been playing this a lot over the weekend in order to try and get to a point that I felt comfortable with enough level and enough weaponry to get the job done. So without further ado, here we go and let's get it on. As you can see, I've got a few skins here and a few optimizations to my character's appearance and we're spotting the MP40 which as you can see here is the third on the list. I've actually got a new one. Wow, I didn't know I'd got this one. This is a new one, the MP28. So we're actually going to use the MP28. So what's different about Battlefield 5 that I found over the weekend is, is there's quite a lot of customization, I must say, to a, a lot of the characters and stuff. Like you can co customize your sights and weapons. As you can see here, the sights on the weapon. I generally like that one. Uh, that's one of the most annoying things. You go to change or customize your weapon, keeps throwing you out, which is really annoying. So fix that. That's one thing. So these are the new guns as well here. Yes, I know. Um, and you can actually play them out. Now, I'm not going to go into all the details in regard to this and the settings I'm using as of yet. I'm going to do that as a separate video for the settings and what I'm using currently at the moment. It's not going to be the best settings, but it's what I'm currently using now in order to help me out. So here we go. Let's get in. The only one last thing I'll show you, I'm using the combat medic because apparently the combat medic is equally skilled as the fighting uh, fighting the enemy and helping allies in need. A medic role can revive friends with syringe. And they've got the melee expert trait, you can have longer reach with melee weapons, and you can sprint faster when you're at critical health. So anyway, let's jump in and see what we can do here. So I've not used this gun yet, this gun is quite new to me. Let me actually turn down my audio sound as well, otherwise I'm going to be blasting out your ears with sounds. We'll go down to about 85%, we should be good there. It's loud enough for me to hear, but when it's recording, it's not going to be blowing your ears out. So let's drop this trip mine down. That's mine. We'll put that there, please. Thank you. So I'll go through a little few tips I've picked up here and there that I know through Battlefield, through the previous Battlefields as well, to help you out if you are quite new. One is marking. Always make sure you mark. Now, generally, it's changed in Battlefield 5. You mark the area. But if you do... However, ADS and touch on an enemy like that, an it will actually point out enemies. You will actually say, oh, it's a medic or it's a uh, SMG guy. Throw med packs out to people. There is a guy over there. Over there. Over there, guys. We've got enemies over there. I did mark him out, but it's not marked him. Where's this guy going? Okay, we've got a dude over here. And one creeping up on me. I thought I got him, but no. Now, this is the one thing I really hate about this game so far, is the call for help. But they have improved it on previous. Now, anybody can get you up. All people do have that one man pack. I don't know if this was the same in the beta, but it just felt so delayed and nobody was doing anything. Uh, it is a little bit quicker, I think, as well, when you uh, when you want to die. You just like want to get it out of the way and get back into the game. Let me aid. give you some first aid. There you go, buddy. I'm going to put this trip mine here. So we don't get people running behind us. So this gun is quite new. You do get specializations for the guns, so you can add on extra features as well. To reduce recoil and better hip fire, you get quite quite a diverse set. But the only problem with it is you've got to fully rank out the gun and reset the whole gun if you want to change one of the actual features of the gun that you add. So maybe you want to go for hip fire, but it's actually better to aim. You can't physically do anything or change that until you reset the gun, which is really annoying. And you've got to have rank four, I think it is, before you can actually physically change the gun itself. There you go, buddy. Have some more healing. I'm going to go around this way because they're making far too much noise over here. Letting people know what we're here. 
So I'm going to go around. Which is another tip. If you feel that people are constantly getting you, go the other way. Because generally if there's a lot of people in one area, the wall just focus on that area. Now normally we get campers over that side. There is a dude over there. Let's see if we can sneak up on this dude. We can. And we shall. Ha 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 ha. There is another dude over there as well. Down there somewhere. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Now I can't heal. Faster as a medic. Ooh, yes, gotcha. I was a little bit spaghetti there, so I'm very lucky. Deploy here. I don't want to deploy. What? Oh, okay. One of them. I don't need to deploy. I don't know why I had that out, but okay. Okay, I'm going to point him out. There we go. Let them know there's a shock trooper over here. Okay, I can't physically... Ooh, someone's just died down here. Spaghetti-o again. I need to work on my ADS sensitivities a little bit more. Let me get this guy up. You can get him up pretty fast, so what I recommend trying to get up your teammates, if you can. Someone's just died. Where? Who, who killed you? He's going to stand still for a moment. No, I can't hear anyone. No? Okay, I'm going to move on. Someone's died over there. I don't know why or how. Now, this is a problem that a lot of teammates don't do. Is they don't mark out where people are. Always constantly mark an area before you even shoot. Just mark them. Let them know. It's been the same for all battlefields. I've even said this in Battlefield 1. Mark out an area, let people know people are there so people can go and save them. There we go. Oh, getting hit. I don't know where from, but he's hitting me. I'm gonna get up and run back. Ooh, there's a guy behind me. Oh, there's two guys behind me. Hi. No, you're not killing me. I'm Ram I'm Rambo, woman style. Because I am playing as a woman soldier soldier, so I'm uh, Rambo, there we go. I'm Rambroette. I bet those guys weren't ready for that. So my initial impressions of the MP28, which is like this is the very first time I'm using it with you. It's actually pretty good. As you can see there, I managed to take him out. Okay. Sorry guys, I would help you, but... There we go. Just let you know there's a medic here. I'm going to move back a bit because he will trigger my trip mine. Hi there, soldier. Hiya there, buddy. Who's it? He's shooting at someone behind us. Oh. They're on you, soldier. Okay, so that... Oh, crap. That must mean they're over there. Maybe my dude didn't die. Did he die? Oh, he did. Unfortunately. Unfortunate there, buddy. <laughs> what, are these, what are these guys doing? I don't know. Okay. I might as well just bleed out because I'm not going to get a chance to get revived there. Had the other guys pinged out the other team, we would have known they were over there. And I was like, I ain't got a clue. I'm just trying to guess where they were coming from. Which is why it's always good to have that ping system. It takes two seconds to go. Right there, look out! It's as easy as that. And if you run the person, just ADS and focus on them, ping them, it'll tell them who they even are. So it's always good to have that. Sorry, dude, I, I will have pointed Danger, you in the right wrong, di wrong direction over there, buddy. I was just uh, showing people what they're supposed to be doing and what people don't actually do. Like someone's pinged that guy, so we know there's definitely a guy over there by the houses. Now my sensitivity is on the 18 or 19 for the turning. The reason for this is for hip fire. As you've seen with those two guys over there, I can hip fire really well. This is also in blue mode, so I'm not using any special settings. I will do a settings video obviously on this, but seeing as this is the first time over the weekend I'm actually using this. Calm, I'm fixing you. Spy trouble there. 
let people know that there is someone in this area. Oh, okay, let me down for a moment. But I'm, I'm guessing they'll be over that kind of area. Dude, what are you doing? I will help you in a moment, dude, but at the moment I'm kinda stuck. Okay, he's down. There we go, more people, oh god. Oh, all the people. Let me get healing. Did these guys die? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like they're dead. Dang, that was, that was intense. Over there, guys, over there. Focus over there, guys. That's it. We've got a guy down here over behind us. Can I get him? Come on, get up. Another, always actively pick people up if you can. Obviously, don't go killing yourself trying to, but if you can get to somebody and, and relieve them uh, or revive them. No, no, relieve. I don't know why. Relieve them? I don't know what I'm talking about. Revive them is what I meant. Relieve them. I'm at, what kind of what what have I been drinking this morning? Which in my case would be coffee, but obviously saying believe them. Right, I'm gonna try and ask for somebody because we have got people nearby. Which is kind of another tactic if you've not pinged them out, if you're reviving or you're calling out for revive, sometimes it will focus people to come to your area. Which is not always a good thing, not always a bad thing, but at least they know to come to you and they know you're down and you're asking for help. You may get a chance that people will come to you to help support you. And then they'll see the enemies, dominate the enemies and kill them. Always pick these up as well. These give you at least two trip mines, which is really cool. Throw that guy a health pack. There you go, buddy. Oh, I've just been hurt now. I'm gonna put one down. As you can see, I've got two. There is a guy down here, so I'm going to point it out. Let him know. Eyes up, he's over, he's there. over there. And there is one there. there watch out there. Throw that over there. Uh, there's a dude here. Spy trouble there. Get up. Hi, buddy. Another thing as well, if you down an enemy, always stay nearby them, because if an enemy can revive them, they will actually all sandbag to try and revive. It's a bit like Apex Legends. They go for the instant revives, which is kind of funny, because it means they're just going to run blindly like a chicken into you and obviously get themselves killed trying to save you. So sometimes use enemies as bait so that other people will run for them. And then they'll just get themselves killed. A nice little kill streak. I'm coming for you. I'm not quite Don't happy about that area, so I'm gonna tell them to focus over there. Oh, I missed slightly. I just missed, I couldn't quite make out where he was and where the dead wall Rock, rock part or rock formation, whatever rock edge there he was hiding behind. Help me, buddy. Be my savior. You have to stand up, bud. Stand up. Okay. Okay, buddy. Now, one, one thing you can do. You can actually crouch. You can revive while crouching. You can't prone and revive. You have to either crouch, you can slide and then revive. Now, I've noticed the sliding mechanic in this game, you can actually just run and press it and it will slide sometimes. But I've actually noticed if you double tap your your slide button, which mine's right thumb stick, you will slide more often, like this. I've noticed if you just press it once, which you can do, like that, 
it will sometimes do it but I've noticed if you double tap it you've got more chance of it consistently doing the slide as you can see so double tap your right thumbstick if you're using the right thumbstick as your crouch and go prone right so let's get back into this now these are ours but if they don't have that sign above it it's not As you can see, I've put the meter on as well, just to give us an idea if there is any issues or problems. I've not really been having that many issues as such. It has come up a little bit, but it's not been there. The reason why I put that on, I know then if there's an issue with the game where there might be a problem, but we have got best squad. Hoorah! Who was the best squad? We was. And there you go. <laughs> So I'm going to pause here for a moment, we'll jump into the next one, and I will see you in just a mo. So you're just coming back to it, I forgot to show you the score, but I went 13 and 4 in this game. So there we go, 13 and 4, we did pretty well. I'll show you my, st my statistics, if I can even speak now, put my teeth in, and uh, give you an idea of what we did on there. So we got a 3.25 kill death ratio, came second on there. 13 kills, score per minute, uh, score, uh, round score per minute, 191, accuracy zero, I don't know what that is, what are you on about, my accuracy zero, <laughs> so here we go, let's jump into the next one, so I'll show you a little bit into the MP28, because I'm sure I can specialise this gun now, so specialisations, what this does is you can go in now, and you can do certain things, so, you can switch weapons 15% faster, so you can shoot soon after sprinting. You can aim down weapon sights 33% faster. Please stop doing that. You can reduce the accuracy penalty from hip firing, allowing you to fire hip fire longer. You can improve in accuracy in aimed fire. It will it will stop doing it eventually while moving. You can reduce the Horizontal, you can extend uh, equip extended mags, allowing you to shoot longer before reloading. Hip fire becomes more accurate, increasing the range which you can hip fire efficiently, and you can move 60% faster while aiming with your weapon on there. So for me on here, I kind of like the idea of being able to shoot faster after sprinting, because as you all know, I like to sprint. Like I said, the only problem with this sort of thing is you've got to actually go through the full of it. Once you've completed, and you, as you can see, some actually block you from having the other side. So you kind of got to really think about what you want. Uh, because if you choose the wrong one, you won't be able to have that one and that one, unfortunately, at the same time, as much as you would love to be able to aim 33% faster and 15% faster at shooting after sprinting. That'd be awesome, but you can't. Then you've got to wait until you get to rank four before you can actually reset and actually choose the other side and decide is it better to hip fire or is it better to aim? Is it better to be able to sprint fast, break out of sprint faster or maybe have that one first? It, you have to wait and it's really annoying. So that's the only kind of downfall to this kind of thing. But it, it depends how you want to look at it. So let's jump in because we've already delayed it. Now this is probably my worst map. I don't like this map at all because it's all open field. Now you can build and put stuff up. To block off areas like I'm doing right now but it is annoying because you're out in the open everyone hides in bushes and you just literally can't see anybody someone's already shooting at me from over there he's over there there you go buddy he's right over there yeah I have some more meds okay get back up So I, I should really probably use something like the LMG or something different for this kind of map because this is not a good rushing map because everybody camps. But there we go, I got him. Oh. Can I revive? No. As you can see, I've tried to revive while laying down, but you can't. You physically, you physically can't revive while laying down. Maybe there is a way because it did kind of hint at square, but... I don't know, wouldn't let me do it, and by the time me messing about, 
obviously I'm dead. I can't see anyone reviving me at this point, so uh, let's just get back into it. Right, here we go again. So I think the best way for this particular map is to kind of start building the fortifications up. And it will give at least some areas of cover. Because at the moment, all people do is this. Literally this. They just hide in the bush like this. Wait like this and then shoot at you. And it's so annoying. That's why I'm not a big fan of this particular map. Because I love to run and gun. But it is annoying when you're, you're trying to do that. And you can't see people and then you just go down. And you see that the other guy is camping. Hardcore. In the corner. Sucking his own peen. While he hides in the bush like this. And this is all he does. Right, I can hear gunfire, I just can't see anyone as of yet. And no one's really marking out any enemies, which is not making it any easier. There's the people over there, I'm, I'm gonna mark over that. Over there, guys. Uh, I've just seen a dude over there. Yeah. There's a dude here. Take him out, and there's another dude here. Oh, I just couldn't kill him in in time. I'm hit. Help me, buddy. Help me, someone. If there's not one nearby, or are they all dead? I think they're all dead. Oh, he's down. Oh no, he's not. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm trying to throw you some healings, uh, buddy, but it's just been awkward. Just mark out that area, let them know. Okay. It's like, look, <laughs> look what people do. This is, this is generally the... The be all and end all of this map is just constantly do this. Got trouble on this position. Now I'm going to try and make it to the tank if I can. I can. Right. There's no fortifications over here, is there? No. Okay. I really hate standing still. I absolutely detest it. I literally cannot see anybody. Watch out for that! Um. Eyes up over there! I think I saw someone over there. <clears throat> there's definitely one over there. Oh, there's a guy. Over here somewhere. Yep, he's there. Ah, oh, I knew as soon as I'd shoot, someone else would shoot me. I'm done. I need help. It's a close game. This is a close oh, game. Got me. Someone help. Now, obviously, a no-brainer is help up your teammates, but in this case, everyone else is too busy camping to want to actually help. Okay, so there's a dude, apparently, further back here. <laughs> Request a ride. <laughs> this is not conquest, buddy. 
Okay. Okay, so we've got a dude who's just actually pinged out here near, near here. Is he dead? I'm assuming so. Oh, no, there's a guy over there. Right there look out! So I'm crouch running at the moment, as you can see here. Trying to obviously be a bit lower to the ground, making it that little bit harder for them to see me. Aha. This is a, not a good idea. He's got way more advantage than I have. Eyes up on this position! Oh, 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 trying to get a bit closer. Can't see the dude on that side, but there was a guy over here shooting at me. See if I can hit them with that bomb. Ooh, that was a good throw. I didn't tag anyone. I'm going to be mean, because no one's going to see them in the water. Oh, there's a dude over here. Ooh. Apparently there's a guy somewhere here. He's a bit further back now. He's probably near the supply. I literally can't see this guy. I don't know where this guy is at the back here. But we have got a guy over here. Oh, he's coming. Where is this guy? I can hear him. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm just going to chill here. So, ah, that's where he is. He's on the island over there. Can I, oh, I can, I can just see him. Oh, okay. Oh, I tried to move back. <clears throat> help me out, guys. Come on. Someone at least come and help me. There we go. We've got one for once. Thank you. Oh, I didn't have a chance to shoot. Okay, it won't let me respawn that time. It's like, no, that's all you're getting. Let me respawn back on that dude. If we can. There we go, I'm back. Put a mine there. Go on then, I'll follow you, medic. Let's go. There you go. First aid, buddy. Oh, there's one here. Got him. Oh, oh, down here. Oh, you're kidding me. I even shot at him. I don't know why it didn't damage him, but okay. That's it. Cheers, buddy. We need to run really quick, though, in a moment. Let's get down so I can heal. Okay, I was trying to throw that, but it wouldn't have gone anywhere anyway. Oh, has got me. Okay. <laughs> I'll try this a little bit more, then we may try the scout. We've not really played the scout class yet. Um, so we could try it out and see what it's like. This kind of map is all about scouts, I think. It's, it's kind of like the, the sniper map or the LMG style map. Told you, enemy scout just over there. Gotcha. 
Hello, buddy. No one trying to shoot me in the back now. Okay, I'll put this here. Oh. No. Nice try, though. Oh, I was trying to burn him and then move back. I got him. I did get him, but unfortunately, he got oh, me as well. Help me. So we've got 14 left. We're in a good position here at the moment, so I'm going to actually try it out. Let's do something I don't generally do, and let's play the scout. Um, I can't have any other things on here, can I? Uh, can I customize? I would rather have the iron sight. That one up do. That's one thing I do like is the fact you can actually add on the uh, different sights on there, so I can choose how I want to be a s sniper, and I prefer something a bit like this. No. Can I find anybody? Oh, we've got people over here apparently. Don't know where. Him and. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay. R2. You spot enemies? Okay. Oh, so if you spot enemies with this, they go on the map. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. So. The, the scouts actually spot you and you go on the mini-map where you are. So that's pretty interesting to know. But there we go. That's the end of it. I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you're new. Tap the notification bell to be notified of all my videos. And you truly can be one of Kappa's convicts or a convict head for the ladies. And yes, it is I, the Kappa convict, who went 10 and 6. I'm signing out. And as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts, and I'll see you soon in some more gameplays. Hopefully you enjoyed. Bye for now.